Welcome back, you guys. So tonight we're gonna to be working on a Glock 35. Now this is the 40 cal version of what would normally be like your 34. So it's uh, very similar to the 34, but obviously it's that 40 cal, and boy, it is heavy. So that's kind of where this project started, was that a customer reached out to me and they said, hey, I've got a 35. What can we do with it? It's pretty heavy. They want to do some weight reduction, but we didn't want to compromise the rigidity of the slide itself. We're just not gonna sacrifice uh, rigidity to save some weight. We, we're just not going to go down that path, but we want, so we need to be really uh, strategic on how we do this uh, to remove the most amount of weight we possibly can, which still structurally uh, keeping the integrity of the original slide. So with that being said, we've decided to do some CNC work in some specific areas. And let me just kind of quickly explain those to you. So that way you have a better understanding of what you're watching while we're doing it. So first and foremost, the thing that we're going to be doing on the back is we're going to run a ball nose around the, on the backside here. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the internal material. So we're going to do a nice dish back here, ball nose on the outside, and then a nice step down on the inside with an end mill. Um, we're going to make sure we leave enough material here because we don't want to have any issues with the site coming into it. Uh, a lot of these larger um, slides, or I should say longer slides, end up using a different style site in the back. They're a little bit uh, wider. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of rub marks here. So in the end, what that means is this isn't just inside of the dovetail. It ends up sitting a little bit farther forward and sometimes a little bit farther back. So uh, we're going to make sure that we leave enough room that we're not going into that dish with our rear site. Now, what we're gonna do to the sides is something that you guys have seen me do quite a bit in the past. We're gonna shave these sides, okay? So we're gonna start from basically where the rear uh, grip serrations are from Glock. We're gonna come down here with the ball nose, down the edge and right off the nose, then we're gonna go ahead and remove all that material out. That's gonna go ahead and remove that existing text and it's also gonna remove weight at the same time. Now, of course, we're gonna be doing it on both sides. So this means on this side, we're gonna be going around where uh, you have your extractor and around your barrel, the ejection side of your barrel and back up. And then of course, we'll come down and over here, we're gonna end up losing the serial number and end up losing the Glock logo, we'll shave all that down. So that's going to kind of get you started with what we're doing. Now, also while we're on each one of the sides, you're going to notice that we're going to be running some pockets. So what's going to happen is um, over here, we're going to actually run three windows. So we're going to have a window, 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 okay, leaving a nice amount of lockup between where the barrel is in the first window. And then of course, leaving a good amount here towards the end, because we've got a lot of extra material here where the uh, spring housing is and stuff like that. So we're going to end up doing three windows here. We're going to also do the same thing over here window, 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 except the difference is, is over here in this big zone or this big area with nothing, we're going to continue on with that same pattern down and through here, except these will just be deep cuts. So basically this will be something like a recessed dish or a recessed pocket that'll be uh, sunk down. So it'll basically be, you know, same pattern, same pattern, same pattern. Then it'll be window, 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 and it'll, they'll all be the same all the way down through there. So um, definitely uh, should see some pretty good amount of weight reduction. So, but in order to really know how we've done or if we're on track, I guess, what we need to do is we need to weigh the slide. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're gonna get shut the light off so we don't get a glare. We'll go ahead and turn our scale on. We're gonna do this in ounces, zero, zero, zero. And we'll go ahead and put this on. And we are right at 14.1. So let's go ahead and just make sure we're good. Yep, 14.1 is where we uh, came up with at the end. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get this guy over and onto the Tormach 770 CNC. Let's go ahead and do all that cut work. We're gonna do a little bit of sandblasting, a little bit of coloring. We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna look it over, talk about it. We're gonna put it back on the scale to see what kind of weight reduction we actually came up with.
All right, guys, I'm really pleased with the way this came out. Now, one of the things you're going to notice about a 35 model is that there's a lot of canvas, okay? There's a lot of slide here to work with, a lot of opportunity to have it done right or to screw it up. So it's one of those deals where uh, you got to take into consideration the amount of cut time because it's, you know, the slide is significantly larger than the standard slides of which you'd be working on. So it takes longer to turn something out. Uh, but on the same hand, it gives you an opportunity to work with a much larger canvas and turn out something that looks possibly much nicer because you can do things bigger, like bigger windows and things like that. So really cool. So one of the main things on this style of slide is that we always get that barrel hole. So we already have this here, the front top port for the barrel um, from the factory. So by adding the sides, we're going to be able to see some nice visibility here on the uh, for the barrel. So I think overall, we, we got a, a pretty high ranking on the, um, the aesthetically uh, pleasing view of the slide. So at the end of the day, we kind of achieved that. Um, I think we, uh, we definitely hit the weight reduction side as well. And I think the, uh, like I said, the overall appearances has a really good appeal to it versus what we were getting with, you know, with the factory. So um, guys, I think what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and weigh this up and um, let's just kind of see what weight reduction we did get. Now, it's been a couple days since I started the beginning of this video to where we are now at the end of this video. So at the bottom of the screen somewhere, I'm going to do, I'll do a, a calculation and give you the actual weight reduction um, because I don't, I'm not going to do the math right now. Um, while we're doing the video. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. We're going to go ahead and let that zero out. We're back in ounces again. And let's go ahead and put this on here. I think it was like 14.1, I think, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, we're at 11.85. So on the bottom of the screen, we're going to go ahead and just do a real quick calculation of exactly how much we uh, reduced off the slide by doing what we did. Now, of course, we added that Cerakote back. So uh, it's kind of one of those things that this is your final product. So that was that was exactly what it was coming out of the box from the factory. And this is exactly what it is now shipping back to the customer. So if that kind of gives you uh, the uh, the overall, um, you know, all the internals have been stripped out, the sites have been stripped out, things like that. So uh, it's kind of one of those deals where this is a real number. You know what I mean? So overall, this is, this is a legit number of what the weight reduction is. So, um, but guys, I took some pictures of this slide outside. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let me just uh, tell you a little bit more about what's going on. All right, guys, so we're going to talk just a little bit about what's going on with us. We're also going to talk a little bit about these two firearms and why you haven't seen build videos on them. So let's first talk about the two firearms and why they're mine and you haven't seen build videos. So one of the main things is I get a lot of requests for this one. This is the neural based shield. Now, of course, we sell the uh, the pattern. So you've seen the side pattern, the top pattern. You've also seen several different patterns uh, out there as well. But you haven't seen this one for sale and you also haven't seen this one on our webpage. It is for sale. So if there's one of those deals where you've seen a pattern of something, but maybe we haven't done a full blown video, it's still available. Okay, reach out to me, talk to me, figure out uh, you know what you what you got, what you need to have done, and uh, we'll work through those issues. So this is one of the deals where it was a house gun, and we just haven't had the time to turn out house videos, and it takes time to film things, discuss things, upload things, you know, things like that. So and really, I'd rather spend the extra time on our a customer gun. So if there's a customer gun here, if I could turn it out a couple days earlier and skip one of mine, that's probably what's going to happen. So um, this is the shield. This is one of the more advanced. You guys have seen this already, um, but it's really, really cool. It's, um, it's one of the ones that I get a lot of requests on. I want to show it one more time. Unfortunately, there was no build video. So if you're looking at it and you're like, hey, where is that? There just isn't one. Um, the other deal is that this is our 26. Now, um, we didn't have a frame for a long time. I just had an opportunity of buying a Gen 4 26 complete gun. Um, so that means that we have uh, an extra slide and obviously we have a frame to work on. So we're gonna be stripping this down, we're gonna be recoloring it, we're gonna be reassembling it, we're gonna be doing some laser stippling on the frames. Yes, we do offer laser stippling on the frames. No, it is not on our webpage. Reach out to us, talk to us about that. There's some fine detailed work that needs to be done in order to have that done. So feel free, once again, if you've seen something on our, on our video, on our Instagram, on our Facebook page, and you don't know how much it is, you just haven't seen a full-blown video, maybe you've just seen a little clip or something, it is offered. Reach out to us. But guys, one of the other things I want to talk to you about is the new machine. The new machine's been here for about a week, okay? So we're still going through the process of fit and finish work calibration, making sure that the software is there, everything works like it's supposed to. Um, it is up and running. There is a video that's live on our Facebook account. So I've always encouraged you guys in the past to go to our Instagram, go to our Facebook, figure out what's kind of going on over there. Um, we have a couple of videos that we've posted up on there. We've done some samples on some uh, some leather and some wood and some things like that to give you a better understanding of exactly what we're talking about because I know a lot of you are like I don't know what you're talking about um, we bought a new laser it's a co2 based laser with the ability to cut steel okay so it was a special order we ordered it in November and we didn't get it till now so I've been talking about this for a while. I didn't think it was going to take anywhere near this long for this uh, particular piece of hardware to come in, but it did. And it is here. So we are still going through the process of getting everything set up, just making sure that everything is working accordingly. Um, 
I know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions about how does this fit our market? Is there something that you knew that you're gonna be offering? Is there something new that maybe you're gonna be doing that the market hasn't seen? Hint, hint. So with that being said, we're gonna stop there. We're not gonna tell you that it has autofocus with rotary and we have the ability to cut slides with a laser. Hint, we're not gonna tell you that. So what I am gonna tell you is that I would highly suggest you pay very close attention to what's going on these next couple of weeks, especially if you're thinking about having something done before you send your slide to somebody that's not offering the latest, the greatest, the newest, the best. So with that being said, guys, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to pay attention. Go to our webpage, ncengravers.com. Go to the bottom. You're going to find YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook links. I highly suggest, if you're not following us over on Facebook or on Instagram, that you do so. Most of the cool content is going to be posted over there. Most of the new content, the stuff you haven't seen, the stuff we haven't been offering, and as of right now, we're not offering. We will be offering it very soon. So I would highly suggest you take a seat, sit back, and you wait for some cool stuff to arrive because it's definitely heading your way.